Hello and welcome to Amazing China. I'm Roseanne Lake. Today, I'm going to take you to a Taoist temple to meet some wild worshippers. During the Chinese New Year, people do everything in the sake of improving their luck for the coming year. One of the first places they head is to the temples, where they can partake in several different activities to ensure that the coming year will be an exceptional one. Exactly what kind of activities help improve their luck? Let's go to the White Cloud Temple and find out. This is the White Cloud Temple, the largest Taoist temple in Beijing. Every year, on the 15th day of the first lunar month, numerous worshippers pour into its grounds to pray, burn incense, and ring in the new year in true traditional Chinese fashion. According to statistics, on the first day of this lunar year, there were about 37,000 people visiting the White Cloud Temple. Over concerns of security, armed police and firemen came to the area. Also, other staff were put in charge of cleaning or guiding tourists. Located in southwestern Beijing, the temple was founded about 1,500 years ago. It has since burned down and been rebuilt. Meaning that most of its buildings now date from the Ming and Qing dynasties. Taoism is a genuinely Chinese religion. Nearly all Chinese believe in it, to one degree or another. It's rooted very deeply in the Chinese culture, and as such, the 15th day of the first lunar month is a very important day for Taoists and for China in general. Taoism refers to a philosophical or religious tradition in which the basic concept is to establish harmony with the Tao, which is the mechanism of everything that exists. Taoism became a religion during the Eastern Han Dynasty, and Lao Tzu was respected as the creator of Taoism. Taoist beliefs include teachings based on revelations from various sources. They also believe that life should be peaceful and filled with joy. Today is the 15th day of the first lunar month, which is also the birthday of the God of Heaven. According to Taoism, the heaven, the earth, and the water are charged by three different gods, respectively ruling the winter and the spring, the summer and the autumn. The 15th day of the first lunar month is Shangyuan Festival, which Taoists believe is the birthday of the God of Heaven. People set off fireworks to celebrate. Later on, these festivities are combined with the Lantern Festival. The Shangyuan Festival is the first important holiday for the Taoists in a new year. It is believed that this is the most promising day to burn incense and make wishes to the deities. Crowds of thousands braved early morning sub-zero temperatures at the White Cloud Temple for New Year's prayers and blessings. This follows suit with a long-standing tradition, which encourages visiting temples on the first and fifteenth day of every lunar calendar month. It is also believed that the first person to burn incense in the temple will have good fortune for the entire coming year. So, as you might imagine, the competition for such a prize can be quite fierce. As a result, after dinner on New Year's Eve, many people flood Beijing's temples, lining up outside for a chance to burn their incense. For them. Burning incense and making wishes for their families are the most meaningful ways to start off the new year. But for those who are too busy digesting their New Year's feast to brave the cold and the crowds on the first day, the 15th day of the Lunar New Year is a steady backup. I'm in the second year of high school. I come here burning incense for my study. I got up at 5 a.m. and I will come here next year as well to pray for an ideal college. I got up at 5 a.m. and I have to go to work later. I pray for the safety of my whole family. Next step, I'll go to rob the monkeys. What's with these monkeys? How can people get good luck just by rubbing them? When we arrive at the stone gate, the mystery is solved. The stone gate to the Temple of the White Cloud has three portals, each delicately engraved with clouds, cranes, and flowers. There is a monkey hidden in a relief beside the middle portal. It is said that the monkey is the incarnation of God, 
Thus, visitors to the temple always touch the monkey for good luck. Under the span of an arched bridge in the first courtyard, there are two large ancient coin models with two small bells. Ringing the bells with a well-tossed coin is said to bring wealth. When it comes to religious beliefs, any behavior is fair game. In Chinese, the word Tao is usually translated as path. The proper path in life, according to Taoism, is one that works in harmony with the essence of the natural universe. It's also when people live within this path of harmony that true blessings can finally take effect. For Amazing China, I'm Roseanne Lake. See you next time.